Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a remote access VPN on AAC. So in this video, I'll be uh, configuring Cisco AAC as remote access VPN gateway. As well as, I'll explain you that um, how we can configure a different policies for different group of users. So let's say you have a HR department or let's say you have a sales department. So how you can put a access for this group of users and sales group of users. So I'll be explaining this video uh, and how you can configure that. As well as I'll, uh, I'll request you guys to please watch my uh, previous video to understand what is split tunnel and what is full tunnel because this concept is needed to understand this video okay so I'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can get the concept about uh, different groups as well as how to configure ASAV as a remote access VPN gateway and uh, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you will get notification so without any further delay let's get started so friends uh, uh, we'll be logging to uh, Cisco ASA and uh, we'll see how we can configure uh, Cisco ASAV as a remote access VPN so first what we need to do is we need to define IKE policy the Isaac M policy so the encryption 3 dash hash md5 group 2 okay this is done now we need to apply or we can say as we are enabling that to outside interface okay now as in my previous video uh, we have defined a local pool so that we are going to define here as well so local pool 192 168 1.10 192.168 1.20 Mass two by five two five five two five five dot zero. Okay, and then we need to define a username Cisco password Cisco. Okay, then now we need to define a tunnel group tunnel group remote vpn this name you need to remember this is a group name that uh, we need to define in the vpn client okay so type is remote access okay then tunnel group name would be same and then general attributes so in general attributes we, we what we basically put as the pool that we have defined so we define a pool as vpn okay now this is done we need to define the ipsec attributes in ipsec attributes we need to define the pre-shared key okay okay now we need to define crypto ipsec ip1 transform set for your data esp3 days esp md5 okay crypto as this is a dynamic we need to use dynamic map
should I give one transform set T set crypto map uh, remote VPN 10 IPsec ISA cam dynamic D map on the same we need to enable it on VPN interface outside okay so once we define this we are good to go so the next thing what we need to do is just we need to remember the tunnel group name show run tunnel group okay so we can give any name remote the IP address would be 200.1.1.10 okay and the group name will be a remote VPN in capital letter the password what I put is Cisco here we need to save this configuration initiate it we prompted for username password so we'll put it the username password and now we are connected so if you see the status over here it says active show crypto ipsec essay we are decapsulating there is no encryption so we are not sending any traffic because we don't have any routes to send the traffic back okay so this is uh, as I have already explained you that how uh, routing will work so just have a look on the previous video so you can understand that and as well as uh, what you need to do is uh, the server will be having a default gateway towards Cisco ASA okay and ASA let's say for 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 this lab our next hop is Windows Server so when we define a uh, routing for the and this network the next hop will be this 200.1.11 let's say if this uh, ASA is connected to an ISP so the ISP IP will be the next hop so in this case I'm explaining th this is this should be your next hop IP address for this route this is and I'll just show you that what IP we have got it here so IP config so we have got it 192.168.1.10 okay this is uh, the logical interface when you install VPN client this logical interface will be created automatically this is a tunnel interface okay so and now uh, I'll just uh, tell you about the tunnel in uh, that split tunnel how we can configure a split tunnel so for that we need to create a policy so uh, our, uh, let, let's say we are giving a name as RAVPN HR okay so this will be internal and then we need to define some attributes what attributes they're going to so let's say if you define a split tunnel split tunnel in sense we are going to define a split tunnel policy tunnel specified okay we can put a access list over it okay so how we can do that split tunnel network list and the value we can put let's say 101 okay 
and in 101 if we define an access list show run access list so we have defined an access list says that the source would be this one and the destination would be this one so we have created a group policy for HR that uh, the 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 users who are putting this this group they will be part of HR okay we need to call this group policy into this how we can do that I'll just show you what you need to go uh, do is you need to go to the tunnel group journal attributes okay and then you need to define a default group policy and the name what we have configured here okay now you have put at this disconnect now once you connect you will get this split tunnel rules so the HR team will be able to access this network when they are in remote but in case wherein you have let's say I'll just change the name okay I'll just change the name to cells okay internal and the same is attributes okay now we define a tunnel specified and before that we need to define a access list so that I can just show you guys IP oh, let's say 20.1.1.0 okay 255 2.0 okay split tunnel network list 102 value 102 okay for that now again we need to create a different tunnel group now the tunnel group would be different now let's say a remote cells okay type remote access then we need to go to journal attributes okay in general attributes uh, we need to define the default uh, group policy as this so if you see show tunnel group so for HR we have defined this for sales we have defined this we can connect to this as well if we want okay again we need to define a uh, pull as well as we need to define username and password so this video will be a bit longer if you do that so this is how uh, we can configure let's say if you have any doubts you can comment on the video i'll get back to you as soon as possible so uh, this is how we can configure uh, a remote access VPN on Cisco ASA and let's say if you want to group the user based on some policy you can do that by doing this configuration if you have any doubts you can directly comment on the video I'll get back to you as soon as possible okay
so this is what i wanted to show you guys and if you want this kind of videos please please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends share it to your colleagues share it to everyone who needs this thank you so much for watching this video